What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Scars and Whiskey for our next review. I am going back and doing a cigar. I had thought I had did a video for it, but then I was looking through stuff and found out I had never done one, and I apologize if you were looking for that one. If you weren't looking for it and don't know what I'm talking about, well, then don't worry. We are doing, uh, the next three videos are going to be a series for the cigar brand K by Karen Berger, and I happen to have all three right here. And as you can see, there is a Connecticut, a Maduro, and a Habano. And I apologize for my video if it's a little blurry right there. But man, we're going to go ahead and go through each one of these. So for the next three view reviews, they're not going to be released all today at the same time. I'm going to release them over time, but that way it'll give you a chance to see all three. Again, a Connecticut, a Habano, and a Maduro. And they are all Esteli. Uh, they're made at the Don Kiki factory in Esteli, Nicaragua, and they're all Nicaraguan, uh, but they are obviously wrappers are going to be a little bit different, but they are, again, all Nicaraguan. With that said, we're going to go ahead and get into it now, and you stay tuned for the review. All right, everybody, with the, uh, the, the, the cigar reviewing today, the K by Karen burger and this is the Connecticut which is also a box press for those who don't know and I do apologize I'm having difficulty aiming that's my fault but this cigar did a uh, debut in 2018 at the trade show in, North, in uh, the United States for cigars uh, a little bit about like I said at the very beginning but I'll repeat it uh, K by Karen Berger is actually uh, Karen Berger is the uh, wife of uh, of the Don Kiki brand. Uh, her husband passed away. She took over the company. But for those who don't know, Karen Berger has uh, been in the industry a long time and she really does know her cigars and knows her profiles. And she's no slouch when it comes to uh, blending as well because she is also a blender. Uh, we actually had her uh, with the shop that I'm working at at I Spice Cigars Club in Arizona. Uh, we had her come out in 2018 and then again in 2019 she for to promote her cigar brand. She did come out and she actually did roll the cigars for people and if you bought a certain a, a a certain package you got uh, some of the hand rolled cigars that she made on premises so she isn't not just just a, you know she is a pretty face but she also does know her business so with that said we're gonna go ahead and get into the Connecticut uh, Toro by Karen Berger right all right everybody into the pre-draw of the Karen Berger Connecticut man right away you get a really good draw and you get right off the bat, I get a sweet, not a sweet cocoa, like a baker cocoa, a really good cocoa. And then you do get a little bit of a, a herbal flow, a floral on the palate. Not anything specifically, but you can taste like, like a little bit of an herb type profile. But again, predominantly uh, a chocolate profile which is amazing for me because I've never had Connecticut cigars uh, that have that type of profile. But again, this is a Nicaraguan uh, Connecticut. Its wrapper is Connecticut, but its binder and filler is also Nicaraguan. So we'll see how that plays, but we'll go ahead and get to the first third. And as you can see before, I, I didn't indicate, I use a straight cut on this cigar. I think these, uh, the Toros, the 6x52s, uh, that is the best cut for them. Uh, the Solomon, for those who don't know, it's still rounded on the top, but it is slightly uh, almost torpedoed at the bottom. Uh, that's a five by uh, fifty-two in five to fifty-two, and it tapers from fifty-two to fifty-eight. And then you have the uh, the Robusto, which is a five by fifty-two. So a little bit of difference. Uh, now the cigars they range between nine dollars and twelve dollars, depending on where you buy them. Uh, we do have them here uh, at the shop I work for. So if you're in the Phoenix area, you're looking for uh, some Karen Burger cigars, we definitely have them here at I Spice Cigars Club at 57th Drive in Grand in Glendale. Again, historical downtown Glendale. So if you're in the area and you're interested, come on by. I know there's some other shops in the valley that sell, but there's not very many. But with that said, let's go ahead and light it up. I'm going to be using a torch today. It'll be a, a, a triple torch. 
And always make sure your lighting, uh, a good, good idea is just to rotate it a little bit. That way you can get a, a, a even burn. And again, touching up is not a bad thing. But as you can see, like I said, that, that Connecticut wrapper, it is a little darker than a traditional Connecticut. But again, like I said, that is a, a cigar from Esteli, Nicaragua. Uh, so for those who might be used to like a typical U.S. Connecticut wrapper, yeah, it's a little bit darker. But it's not as dark as uh, maybe a San Andreas, Connecticut. With that said, we're going to go ahead and start and I'm getting like a, uh, a fresh floral profile on that. Um, kind of like uh, a weird way to explain it would be like uh, when you open a bag of turkey stuffing that's the breadcrumbs in a bag, you open it and that little bit of herbal you get kind of getting that I'm not really getting that uh, cocoa that I was getting on the cold draw for the pre draw as you can see it's not a huge amount of smoke the draw is a little tight now that it's lit which is odd to me because before I was getting a decent draw and it is really firm to the touch towards the top but as you come down it is a little bit more spongy and then obviously as you get closer to where the fire is it's going to be a lot less uh tightness but with that said we're going to keep going through it i'll be back with the second third right after this of the karen burger connecticut everybody welcome back for the second third review of the karen burger connecticut now i did say it was connecticut and it was a Nicaraguan uh, binder filler. Uh, it is actually, it's a Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper for those who don't know, and for those who did already know, and I'm just saying it again, uh, but I didn't think I mentioned it. Uh, but man, I am starting to get on the cigar as you make it into the second, third after it's, bur it's, it's burned through. You can see that the uh, cigar is burning a little uneven, and, and sometimes that happens. It's not a bad thing. And I did touch it up just a little bit, but it seems like it's wanting to burn. But again, sometimes if I'm smoking faster than the cigar burns evenly, then that is what I cause my own problems. So I don't know if you're like that. Uh, the draw is about the same. Real light smoke, not very much coming out of it. It's not bad, but it is getting a little packed. So what sometimes I like to do with these box presses, just squeeze them just a little bit, give them some form. Sometimes it loosens it up, sometimes it doesn't. Other guys will use uh, perfect draw tools and other things that they do to them. I just don't want to mess with it too much. It, usually it, good cigars will just work their way out. But with that said, we're going ahead, we're getting a uh, little more of an earthy profile, uh, like a, a light hay. I also am getting a little more leather. Maybe it's just me. Uh, like a creamy leather profile on the back of the palate after you exhale um, and just a, a hint of pepper black pepper it's almost like if you were using white pepper like you use an Asian food and other foods like that with real light subtlety it's not overpowering strong like most Nicaraguans with that said that's what I'm getting so far so we'll keep going through it we're we'll back with the final third of our Karen Burger Connecticut Toro right after this all right, everybody, welcome back for the final third of our review of the Karen Burger Connecticut. Again, as I said earlier, this cigar was released in 2018. Uh, that followed the release of the Maduro and Habano that was released in 2016 uh, by Karen Burger, uh, who has a store in Daytona Beach, Florida, but is actually from es Esteli, Nicaragua. And so with the final third, as you can see, the... Uh, the burning is is evening up a little bit it was kind of half burning goofy we are getting a bitterness towards the end of the cigar not bad but it's there and I am getting a little more of a spice profile that's really coating the tongue and uh, a little bit of maybe like a, a, a nut profile now there's not a specific nut that I can think of but it is like 
a little bit of an aftertaste like when you eat uh, peanuts or if you eat cashews or any type of mixed nut you kind of get that little bit of a lingering profile that's what I'm noticing again you may not get this that's again as I've stated in other videos I've done it's not necessarily that everybody gets the same experience I would hope that the majority of people who smoke cigars you're gonna have a lot of people with similar profiles are getting and that's going to be true to the cigar but then sometimes some people get some really goofy profiles and again my suggestion to you is people ask me all the time what do you drink when you try a cigar well if you've never had the cigar and you're not anticipating anything I would suggest water keep your palate clean so you can kind of figure out what the cigar is about but if you smoke them all the time you kind of know what it's about so you do you start pairing it with other things but with that said, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Thanks again for tuning in to Scars and Whiskey. Have a great day. Have a great smoke. And I will see you next time.